It is nearly a year since 23-year-old Elijah McLean died after an encounter with Aurora police. There is a gathering to honor his memory tonight. Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. People are expected to meet at the state capitol. Connor McHugh is there live right now. And Connor, what is the message tonight? Kathy, organizers say the message is one of love and gratitude this weekend, and they hope here at the Capitol that attendees of this rally will spread that message over the next uh, couple hours and even days. As you can see, things are just getting set to be started here. It's called the Say Their Names Rally. There are a few people starting to trickle in, and you can see right there Elijah McLean's mother and his family attorney, as well as a number of supporters of the family and community members. There are also a number of people in from Louisville, Kentucky, as well as the family of Breonna Taylor. Now, this event is set to go on for about three hours with a variety of different speakers. It is, of course, a celebration of McLean's life, but also a somber moment, as Monday marks one year since McLean was put in a chokehold by Aurora police and administered ketamine by paramedics. McLean was pulled off life support several days later. And now, earlier today, you can see right here when some of the people from Kentucky came into town, they were greeted by McLean's mother, as well as some of the other organizers here. Included in that again is Brianna Taylor's family, as well as others from Louisville, Kentucky, who come to show some support for Elijah McLean's family and the community here. Earlier, we spoke with an organizer who was also speaking on behalf of McLean's mother. This is what she had to say about today's event. We want gratitude always, and that's really what this weekend is about, just gathering in gratitude to really be Elijah McLean's life, to be who he was, not to just say his dying words, but to actually be who he was as a human being in real time. Now, organizers are also asking for today to be the first of six days, they say, of love and unity in honor of Elijah McLean, Brianna Taylor, and other victims of violence at the hands of police. We will be back at 5.30 to give you an update on this rally. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Thank you, Connor.